guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. This channel contains hundreds of different videos covering all manner of different patterns, techniques uh, and styles of fly tying. There's something here to suit almost everybody so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, so another really famous fly that again has stood the test of time. Again, it's one of the first flies I would have learned to have tied and it's still just as popular today. And this one is a black panel. So, I have tied a bigger version of this previously on the channel. This time we're going to tie, this is a size 14. Uh, and this is a B175. And I am going to use this uh, Textream 60 black uh, tying thread. So I'll start this on the hook up near the eye, tie it on a bit and then snap it off and we're going to come back here to a point just before the bend. So the tail on this fly is uh, golden pheasant tipped. So I'm going to take a feather of that and how I tend to tie these in as tails is I snap the center out of a feather, just break it out, and then I will stroke back all the fibers, just leaving what I want to create the tail. If you've got a center sort of a feather, these should be roughly even. I'm going to set that up on top here, tie across it, and then if you pull this feather forward. You can pull it in until it suits for length or a tail. Now the number of fibers you put on is up to yourself. Um, it could be as little as maybe two fibers or maybe as many as about ten or so. I'm going to trim this off. I'm not trimming it off square back here. I'm leaving it roughly the length that the body is going to be. And that just means that uh, because it's a floss type body, then it should have an even effect. So I've always preferred to use uh, oval tinsels. A lot of people will use wire for the rib on this, but personally I just I find it can dull and I've always preferred this option. So trim that off. So the body on this fly is black floss. Now if you tie a really small fly you can just use your uh, your tie and thread if you want. But we're going to use a black rayon here. Now because it's a small fly again I'm not going to go double layered on it here so I'm just going to tie a single thickness of floss back to meet the tail tie-in, bring this forward and then trim it off. Then we'll wrap the body. Now you can see I tend to turn the fly up on its side or up on its back to do this because it, I find it easier to wrap into the gape of the hook. Bring that forward. Tie it in. It's tied in by one turn here, and then I'm just going to fold it back on itself and tie over that folded bit. And then wrap our tinsel in even space turns, hopefully. Hold it under tension, get a couple of wraps on, and then you can transfer hands. Sharp says just trim that off. And then we need to put on a hackle. So a hackle on this fly will be black. Um, now you can use black hen. I'm going to use a little 
black cock hackle that has a bit of webbiness to it. Tie that in and then put on one. Two turns. Tie across. Second one to hold it, fold that back, that'll fold the stock. And wrap that. And snap it off. And that just requires us to finish. So you don't want the fly overly heavily dressed. You can even get away with a single turn of hackle if you choose. And I'll just super glue my thread and wrap the head with that. And half hitch finish into that. So all that remains is to varnish that. So I'm going to use a clear varnish. needle, get a little blab on it, hold all back, and just get that the whole way around. So that is our black panel. Essentially it's sort of like a little bit more complicated spider type pattern, but certainly has caught hundreds of thousands of trout during the years for everybody and will continue to do so. So if you like the video, give us a like, subscribe, check out all the other videos on the channel and until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.